So it's like, yeah, I, I woke up from my nap and Monty's like, yeah, the microwave's on fire. I'm like, what? Still? Like, Welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin, that's Jordan, that's Pedro, and then we're on as tradition. Hi, hi <laughs> random motorcyclists. We, we, we're ever going to find out who this guy is. Can we get him on the podcast? This, this is planned. I, I think this is weaponized at this point. <laughs> yeah, you got to set up like like a road strip or something with some spikes. Okay. Like, uh, okay. No, you 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 got to get this. So I I, just, I finished up by the way for your patron and you're interested in the audio stuff on Linux interfacing Linux for the PreSonus Studio 24C. That is up for you. Go take a look at it. Uh, it'll go live probably Tuesday or Wednesday for everybody else. But I'm recording the voiceover for one of those, right? Mm-hmm. And I like to do it where I don't have to worry about anybody like nobody coming out of the neighborhood or anything. So it's like two o'clock in the morning. I'm like, cool. Like I'm near, cut everything on. It's like, oh, the noise floor is just perfect. Like it's, it's dead silent. I'm like, this is awesome. Got my script that I'd written. And I'm like, I'm going through it and I'm going through it and I'm reading off transformer blows. This is how I believe we're in a simulation. <laughs> uh, I, I, was, I was expecting just like the, like uh, uh, La Cucaracha, like traffic horn, like an entire mariachi band just walks past. Transformer explodes and my power didn't even go out. So it was just a pure spite. Blam. Like, <laughs> if you told Mike, me. Michael Bay presents interfacing Linux. Yeah, if I looked up at the ceiling, somebody went, oop, and they, like slid the thing closed. I was like, yeah, all right, I get it. So did you listen to last week's pre Super Chosen? Because we talked about something that's kind of important. We're going to be doing a little something different with the chair acquisition. And that's going to be starting this week. I'm going to tell you about it because... The chair acquisition is going to become its own thing. Now, you old timers out there, you're like, well, oh, I remember that. You might remember the chair acquisition used to be its own thing. We just recorded it during the regular show. And it just, over the years, it's kind of stayed there. Well, instead of doing that, instead of doing 52.1, what is it? I wrote it down 52.1429 games. Yeah. So per year. 52 and a quarter, something like that. Yeah. What we're going to do is like maybe one game every month, but put some time into it. Really dig into it, focus on it instead of just like rolling through and find stuff that we really like. And what's really important to me about this, this is going to give me more time to pin down and make our schedule flexible enough to get game developers on the show, mm-hmm. which is something that I've been wanting to do since the very beginning. And it's really difficult to say, hey, Saturday night, 8 30, friends, no, 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 come on our show and do that. I'm like, mm, no. Maybe not. So, if you want to come help out with that, you know, you think of a game developer, because I want to talk to the people behind the engines, you know, bring Icky back on the show. See what Ridiculous is up to. Find out about SDL3. Find out what post-Proton game boarding looks like. Or people developing games with Godot. And, you know, what that experience is like. You know, definitely people who've put some time and work into it, not just smash that export button and put it on the Steam find out. I think that would be the most interesting thing. And as we were talking in the pre-show last week, I I looked into the numbers, which is something I already knew. Like listenership and viewership just right at the chair acquisition. Like it does every available metric for the six or seven of you out there that I know are just heartbroken right now. Don't worry. There's going to be more show. Nothing's going away. It's going to be spinning up. But yeah, I looked at the YouTube numbers I looked at Spotify numbers, I looked at the Google Analytics, and I looked at the um, Apple. The lowest drop-off is about 28%, like right there. Mm. Everyone skips ahead. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. then the hate mail picks back up. Um, so we want to make it something that more people want to watch. Mm-hmm. So change for the second change. There you go. But if you know a developer, you know software too, add Reply. Hit them up on Twitter, hit them up on Mastodon, hit them up on um, Instagram. Let them know we'd like to have them on the show. Come hang out with us. There. Yeah, if GE wants to come on, if Eggy, if Eggy wants to show up, again. Oh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's in Discord. I guess we can, we can add him, but that, that requires, like, talking okay. to people. This no is one, what no we also, if you know anybody, or maybe you want to get started in bucking, this is something we probably needed 10 years ago. Do you ago. want to be the middle person? <laughs> you yes. can be the middle person. If you would like to volunteer <laughs> your time to be that wetware, because I suck at that. Like, yeah, I, I don't. I don't want to talk to people. No, I don't mind yeah, the talking no, to I people. I have to do that at work. I'm the middle person, so uh, no. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> I always do the, I always do the reach out and I'm like, hey, you want to come on the stream? They're like, yeah, sure. I'm like, all right. I'm like, all right. So we're coming up to it. I'm like, oh, well, you know, this is changing. I'm like, okay, fine. And, we, and this is back and forth, back and forth. And like, if I'm going to come on your show, which anybody who's ever like, hey, Vin, can you come on podcast? I'm like, yeah, done. That's it. Then I get angry at them when they hit me back. Like, so it's nothing because everybody does it apparently. And they're hitting me. I'm like, nothing's changed, right? You're still good. And I was like, yeah, I said I'm good. Why? Because like, everybody changes at the last minute. I'm like, no, we're good. So looking forward to doing that. For you, ultimately, listeners, that just means it's not going to be a shorter show. Not even a no, little no, bit. No, no, no. <laughs> not even a little bit. Uh, more of the stuff that people tune in for. So there is that. Pedro, I posted, um, I did Jordan, both of you, did either of you watch the um, Summer Game Awards? No, no, I, I, I bypassed all. It was the I Summer saw Game some of the show. articles what? after the fact. <laughs> I was watching it and I saw Pedro Souls. Mm-hmm. And they said the demo's available. I posted in our Discord and I was like, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one th- There he is, Pedro. I was like, oh, neat. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I want to try that. Immediately downloaded, just yeah, I want to play Liza P. <laughs> Runs pretty good under Linux, doesn't it? Yeah. A lot of people on Twitter going um like on the Steam Deck say, Oh, I-, I didn't even change any of the settings and I'm getting sixty FPS on the Steam Deck. That's, That's always good. good to see. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Man. Uh... It's, it, it's it's kinda weird living in the in the future of like Hey, a game came out on Linux. You can just click play, and it runs. Yep. And no, no, no fuss, no messing around in line prefixes, no setting command controls, line controls uh, like controller input works. It, yeah. Very Think good. about it. How much has changed? <laughs> Even when I was launching it, I downloaded the demo. I played around with it. Souls like mm, not really my thing, but I dug the art style. I'm like, how are they going to play around with this story? I didn't even think twice about it. I just clicked play, and it just launched. Didn't have to fight anything. Smooth sailing. Good times to be in. Uh, Jordan, you uh, need a new microwave, my man. <laughs> I do. Mine, mine caught fire today. I, I, a, allegedly. I wasn't there to witness allegedly. it. Uh, oh, do you think, I, you think you're getting um, horn swoggled? I just uh, bought I'm, a new I'm, microwave, I'm, so I'm, I'm going to say it cut I'm on fire. <laughs> oh, like, so that, that's the thing, though. Like, th- This microwave is my wife's, and it's older than her kid. So, like... Oh. So like it's when 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 she said when I come wake up from my nap to like and th- this happened like maybe twenty minutes before I sat down to talk to Ben today so so it's like yeah I, can, I woke up from my nap and Money's like yeah the microwave's on fire I'm like what still like, <laughs> my girlfriend sucked twenty seven dicks in a row <laughs> uh, yeah so uh, so now I gotta go microwave shopping tomorrow. Yeah, I, I was told. Yeah, no, the door was on fire. Apparently, there's a scratch on the side of the wall, and like the the coating is obstructed, so it started sparking. So, uh, so yeah, Ad- adventures in microwaves. That, that's that's my life. <laughs> well, I don't know how to spin that because there's. Do you, what would you rather fight? One horse-sized microwave or a hundred oh. microwave-sized horses? Well, can can the microwave-sized horses, like, emit microwaves? Because I'm pretty sure the steam horse can, because it's the steam It's the cheapest it's been in 30 days, though. Dude, all right, good news, everybody. Well, kind of, for some of you, eventually. Uh, <laughs> steam has started showing <laughs> EU citizens the game's lowest price from the last 30 days. This Okay. This is just good news. Uh, where does this come from? Rock, paper, shotgun, man. I'm glad they're still around. Talk about like mm-hmm. old media. It's weird when you think about that. But you'll be able to see the price of the game, what it was, last month. Oh, that's a good feature to have. And why do we need stuff like this? Well, you think about it. You've seen it. You've definitely seen it. Uh, publisher, developer will bump the price of the game up, say 40%. Then they'll have a sale for 30% off. Ah, profit. Yeah. And... Mm-hmm. Personally, I tend to check historical lows before buying a game, but some people, you just ain't got the time to do that, and I completely understand that. And unfortunately, as I said, publishers be sneaky like that sometimes. And I, I they bring it up in the article, and I, I wouldn't double-check that and confirm that. Steam prevents publishers from manipulating the prices right around the sale period to kind of keep an eye on them. But yeah, that, that was kind of like a, a, a mitigation step in, yeah. in, in, in the way. But like, no, this is, this is, it's very nice for Alf, Valve to add a, just wait for a fucking sale, you dummy reminder. Cause like, 
Yeah. Well, you don't, to, don't, yeah, don't pay full price for games. This is to be in accordance with the laws that have been passed in the EU. So it's uh, available in some EU countries right now. Eventually going to roll it. Pedro, do you think they're just going to do it like they do um, everything else? Usually Steam's not really big on like localizations of features. They're like, if we're going to do this one thing, yeah, everybody's going to get it. Yeah, no, the, for the EU, they have to comply, at least for all the members of the EU, which reminded me, it's like, oh yeah, let's go check. Oh, right, no, the UK is not in the EU anymore, so, all right, um, <laughs> the, you already have something similar to this, but it, it gives you the all-time low. Mm-hmm. Um, if you had the Steam DB extension for your browser of choice and you went to the Steam store, it gives you the all-time low, this game costs X. So, yeah, just, just Wait for a yeah, second. Don't don't need uh don't need a third party extension now, which is or uh, like we're doing it. Works like, on in the official client store. <laughs> you know, think about it. Like you go to is there any deal sometimes or something like that? Because oh, yeah. Yeah. So having so, yeah. that just that 30 day price history, I think is just very good. That's reasonably transparent, right? Yeah, yeah. for sure. And and like again, we, we we joke about it, but like literally every two months there's a steam sale. So it's like Yeah. You'd never just, really just know, a little right? reminder, like be patient. Well, how many games like uh, the game that me and you are eventually going to play, that Sony title? um, Oh, It Takes Two? It Takes Two. In my brain, the price for that game is 15% off. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's the base level price because that's all they know how to put it on sale for. And it goes on sale every three weeks, maybe four. Um, I don't know. Wait, wait, wait till it shows up in a humble bundle or something. Oh yeah, like, it's, like, yeah. yeah, give me, give me one of those old like ninety. But that was another thing Valve did a long time ago. You can't discount your games more than ninety percent now. Mm. So I guess you can you can do like free weekends though. So like you can, uh, yeah. yeah. It or you can just discount them all the way. And that weekend. game, by the way, is just on <laughs> principle because we only need one copy to play it. It's yep. just like you got to do. Sick, give me sixteen percent EA. That's nothing I don't want to give you. 15.5. Right. Best I, I, can I, do. I, I, I can do you 15.4. <laughs> so I did like the name of the, uh, the little directive that put this into motion. The Omnibus Directive. Good job. <laughs> should have been the Polybus. Should have been. Po- Polybius. Polybius, man. It, it should have disappeared and uh, gave like a... Uh, yeah. Oh no, my head. It's yeah. starting to hurt ah. all of a sudden. Musk <laughs> kill. <laughs> Windows crash has been fixed. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the latest Steam client beta and there's a bunch of bunch of stuff in here like blah blah blah. They fixed uh, uh They fixed the fucking big picture mode in Nvidia. Dude, ah. I I was putting that in the notes. I was 100% putting that in the notes. They fixed a crash I was talking about last week. Last week during the beta updates, they fixed if you run NVIDIA and you had the issues with the scrolling like I did, where it would just freeze and like lock one thread at 98%. It was gone. I'm like, yes, I can finally use this because I want to play with the latest and greatest just like you. And then I opened up the friends list in the messenger and opened a messenger window and it crashed. And it mm. did it again. And it did it again. This fixes that. And this fixes the crash when Steam windows are closed with hardware acceleration enabled on NVIDIA, followed by re-enabled hardware acceleration by default in NVIDIA GPUs. And so, dude. so that's why it ran like shit, is because even if you turn hardware acceleration on, it wasn't. I nope. was, <laughs> I thought about that when I was typing this in. I said, wait a minute, before we give it the all clear, I'm like, everything's fixed and great now. Go check but big picture mode. I'm sure it's still going to open in the yeah. wrong monitor and it's going to be sluggish. Lo and behold, it works. Yeah, 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 yeah. It only a lot of people on more. Twitter when this be- uh, when the, the new beta came out mm-hmm. were saying, "Yeah, you can finally use the new um, gamepad UI with an NVIDIA card reliably." So that's it very. It only good. took them half a fucking year. <laughs> we did it, Reddit. Yeah, a couple also, of other um, things though. Man, they fixed Bluetooth Steam controller on Mac. Yep. Apparently, that was a thing for those of us. And uh, uh, specific run times. Yeah. <laughs> If you downloaded a game that required a specific runtime that isn't just, you know, the basic runtime, it will now pull that down accurately. So if you download Elden Ring, it pulls down the uh, Easy IT Cheat runtime. That's good. That's, there's also, there's also this, a bunch these of are just gyro good? fixes. There's also a bunch of gyro fixes for, uh, for controllers. And for for the well. serial killers out there that use yep. the gyro aiming. So... <laughs> 
You, you know, it's not bad when you use it in, in combination with the stick. It's like almost usable. Get good scrub. Yeah, like the gyro stick combo is very. No, nah, man, you, you got to use analog sticks like a real pro console no, player. I, you got to use Hotas, man. You got to like six DOF this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 pl I'm playing Doom with like. <sighs> Actually, that, that would be pretty dope. I, I kind of want to do that now. That'd be kind of fun. I always thought yeah. it'd be fun if we did like a um, battle royale type deathmatch in Doom or Quake or something with gyro support where we could only use controllers. Oh yeah, but it's like it's like a mosh pit where like every <laughs> it's it's like a mosh pit land party where you have to like move around and like dodge roundhouse kicks while you're avoiding getting oh. murdered in deathmatch. I, I think just like basic something like Quake Three would be frustrating enough. Oh, some, yeah, something real fast. Yeah, yeah fast-paced. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're allowed to use gyro, you're allowed to use thumbsticks, whatever you want, but only on controller. Yeah, no no, no, no keyboards allowed. You can mm -hmm. use leap motion controls. <laughs> I mean, if you want to play it on just the keyboard, you're... Yeah, I, 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 I'd allow that. No, no, it's no, the just mouse. the keyboard. We're the mouse is not allowed. We're going to turn Quake 3 into our own asynchronous version because we're going to do teams. It's going to be red versus, versus blue. There's oh. going to be six people on red. And one person on blue who's able to use the keyboard and mouse. Oh, no, 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 no. It, it's mouse only. So you have to set up the mouse so that you have to like shift the mouse forward if you want to move and then oh, look page around. up, page down to run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Have it, have it be in reverse. So like left click is run and W is fire. No. Just to, just to <laughs> fuck with people. I, I like the Quake 3 idea. Maybe we'll look into that. Maybe we'll look into that. New version of GE Proton. Don't call it Proton GE. Yeah, don't, don't call it a comeback. You never left. Yeah, so GE Proton 8.4 is out. As usual, it comes with the latest and greatest Git pulls for VKD3D, DXVK, D9VK, all that nonsense. But there's a bunch of Fall of the Guy fixes here. Um, you no longer need a Proton fix for it. And uh, speaking of Fall Guys, uh, when it's doing the EAC online services setup, once it hits step two, you need to hit cancel or else it will like <laughs> report that it failed to download the file, even though the file is there. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know. Fall Guys works fine on, like, stock Proton. So, you know, I, I guess if there's really a, a feature you need or if you want, like, some of the FSR shit that's in GE, then maybe um, may, maybe this is what you want. But still, it's good to see uh, if you... This is one of those things where it's like, yeah, if your game doesn't run on vanilla Proton, give give GE a shot. There's some Sometimes yeah. the, the magic sauce makes it work. That, that, that should be step one. But, yeah, no, I like how games just tend to work fine even if the Epic online services fail miserably. Uh, Returnal, that's the one for me. Whenever I start Returnal, it gives the little window. Attempting to install Epic online services. Failed. Good. Go away so I can play the game. Thank you. <laughs> um, I always keep Proton GE around just to, you know, just in case. Sometimes you might want to try it. And, uh, you know, ever since, I, I find myself using it less and less now that Valve has made available Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge because mm -hmm. that's like my crazy unhinged one that I play with more often than not. But I did use this, if you noticed. Uh, I've had it now for like a year and a half. I was joking about it last night during Trackmania coming out with this shameless plug. The Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Jordan's even got a copy of this. It came with this video yes, card, I think. It uh, came with my uh, motherboard, but yeah. Motherboard. All right. Same thing. <laughs> so, 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 same shit. I, get, I, w I was genuinely surprised. Cause it, it, it threw me off. Cause like, oh yeah, go click on this link to download the, the hardware verifier and the URL says exe, but it downloads a shell script. And I'm like, mm -hmm. what? Huh. Oh, <laughs> sure, sure. Okay. Fine. I, I guess. Yeah. I wasn't, uh, yeah. I remember talking to you about that. Like what? That was kind of interesting. It, uh, it worked. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is always uh, traditionally, I don't know if it's a problem with, well, it's been a problem with AMD and uh, NVIDIA as well. I don't know if, how it's been solved on the Steam Deck, but it will just freeze. It was like a race condition. It would end up if it dropped too many frames. Like The, the solution's been... Yeah, the, the, the issue I, I had when I was trying to play it was like uh, Proton, or uh, Proton didn't have like support for, or no, it was uh, the NVIDIA driver didn't have support for like a specific Vulkan extension. Uh, and it just like wouldn't start up. It, it had the support on AMD, but not on NVIDIA because they were waiting. Yeah. Yeah. That's no longer the problem. The problem is um, if there's a fluctuation with the frame rate, it'll just hard lock. Mm. And so the solution has been to cut it down to potato quality and like lock it at like whatever you can run stably. And this is a Ubisoft Assassin's Creed title. So good luck with that. Um, need to buy more quartz. That seems to be fixed. And uh, the only thing 
I'm still having a problem with with Assassin's Creed is outside of the launcher Ubisoft and is when it starts, it just kind of hangs and I, it takes like a minute and a half doing whatever it's doing there, but it always launches, which really zaps my ability to pop in, play for a minute and pop right out. But being an Ubisoft Assassin's Creed title, six hours in, ladies and gentlemen, and last night I got to the title screen. Amazing. Yeah. Welcome what, to Ubisoft. What's what's your thought on like uh just just as a random tangent? I've noticed that in like movies now, they're moving the the title screen to the very very end. They don't they don't do it at the beginning of the film anymore. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I that's not something I the, the, haven't the, been yeah, to the movies the, in a while. Yeah. Then. <laughs> well, yeah. It's, it, like it, I mean, even if you're watching them online, do they have like, sound? No, the, 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 it's it's like we we we, we the piano? Talkie, talkies the are like. Yeah, the talkies uh, are too projected in black and white onto the bark yeah. of a tree. <laughs> yes, There's you know, no you know, but I, 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 always I, I, with the tree. Farm. No, you have to look in the Zoe trope and like spin it fast so that you can you can see the the, the lady move around, right? Dope. Like, yeah, you don't you don't even get to see the title card until the very very end. No, I, I think um, anybody familiar with the Assassin's Creed knows just how um, long long into the game i remember playing with odyssey even when we were doing the um google uh stadia uh, project stream yeah the closed version of that it was like four Pretty hours in. yeah <laughs> like, and, and now and now post the uh there's nothing oh. <laughs> whatever <laughs> there's I've, a controller that doesn't work terribly well over bluetooth you gotta plug it in if you want you know reliable input <laughs> Let's tell the people about some new games this week. This one comes from uh, something that we covered back in episode 353. Yep, it was an early access at the time, not anymore, and the developers actually sent us some keys. Thank you very much. Uh, El Hug with a message to um, go with them. Uh, Hi, our game was made on Linux for Linux using free and open source software, smiley face. Okay, there is one exception, Substance Banner, but it works on Linux, smiley face. And we probably won't use it again. <laughs> okay. Uh, we will uh, We will be very grateful if you give our tower defense game a chance, smiley face. My husband and I have been developing this game with no budget, no marketing, for many, many years. I can all respect right. that. Yeah, yeah. and like, okay. it, it, uh, and according to the Steam page, it's all pretty, it's fairly open source, like it's done in Godot. And it's 3D mm-hmm. Godot too, which is pretty impressive, because like... Not not too many people have taken that plunge. Most people still, even though uh, Godot has done a lot of work in their 3D stuff, they're still mostly known as a 2D engine. Uh, bl- the graphics are done via Blender, which is cool. I'm sure, Foxy is uh, very very happy about that. And yeah, it's just like a cutesy tower defense game. It's got a demo. It's got couch co-op. I'm you know I'm gonna I'm gonna give. Normally we're pretty harsh on couch co-op, but this is this is like a, a hobby project in a labor of love. Sweet, sweet matrimonial biblical love. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> basically um, just have. <laughs> If you and your uh, husband at this point are still together, good job. <laughs> good yeah. job to both of you. <laughs> Ye of little faith. If you get a chance, uh, send an email into the show. Love to get you on the show. Talk about mm-hmm. uh, what the development yeah. cycle is about this. Speaking of like the moving the jerk vision, that'd be a great, uh, you know, one yeah. of the first couple of people to have on just talk about the nuts and bolts of setting everything up and especially what you struggled with under Linux with um, Substance Painter. Substance pen. Did you have to run that? that yeah, I wanted. I want to know what the workaround was for that. Go check but this out. It's, it's available on Steam. On Steam. It? It's currently. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, there's a demo available, so you get an extra good for that. It's currently nine ninety nine. Evil when it does handstands and. Uh, yeah, I mean. Neat. Substance three D painter costs one hundred and twenty five pounds. Are you sure that's what? not like a one week license? The fuck. <laughs> I guess that's why they're the not going to be using it again. So. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Okay, no, Spe- yeah, that's not Power true. through it, Pedro, I got faith. Come on. <laughs> speaking, of, uh, speaking of difficulties in porting things to Linux, uh, we got one game update here. Imagine Earth. They have uh, Linux support and 55% off on the game right now. And uh, this is this is pretty neat because they're like, hey, we've uh, we've done a lot of work in optimizing our strategy game for ge- for uh, playing with a gamepad. Um, we we've looked at uh, how other strategy games, you know, do um, do do Don't game we pad have a bit of a chicken and egg problem here immediately oh, oh, because they say after receiving a lot of requests, but usually we hear well, we don't have anybody on Linux playing our games. Yes, mm, yeah. but now, now we <laughs> do, was, and no one. 
Well, now now we have we have this whole Steam Deck nonsense. So, oh, yeah. there it is. Okay, yeah. Yes. Uh, so yeah, you can uh, you can now play this game natively under Linux. It has uh, fully revamped controls. Fuck Planet B. Yeah, I'm 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 all about Planet Y. Planet L. Uh, yeah, and um, I mean I mean that that's pretty much it. You can play your real time strategy 4x game on your deck natively on Linux now, which is pretty, pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they're yeah. thinking about, uh, I mean, even if you don't have a Steam Deck and you like playing with a controller, you know, you get things like these rings, right? And you're like, okay, yeah. we need to make this playable without a keyboard and mouse, which is always interesting to see how that's applied to things like real-time strategy and the likes. Yeah, they're, they're, they were saying that like, oh, before we had like a truncated list of like stuff, but people, but it turns out like people want the full ass menu. So you got to like optimize the UI to support all of yep. the all the elements and doing uh, the, the, doing those like radial um ui bits help very much but yeah no originally released in 2021 finally on linux thank you <laughs> very much appreciated they did send us one key on curator connect Aww. singular <laughs> you didn't Imagine. read the little blur <laughs> I, I i imagined i did also if uh <laughs> Yeah, call us. Get in touch. Send a yeah. message. We uh, we we, we want to know what it took to to port your to game onto you the on the show. We're looking for people to front load. Isn't that right, Stroy? Don't talk to me like that, Stroy. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at some of the videos. Yeah, what is this? Uh, it's regularly twenty four ninety nine, eleven twenty four right now. Half off, over half off. Mm -hmm. So if you are into colony sim building, sci fi relaxing, three D space stuff that you can play on deck, yeah, go check it out. Indeed. All right. I think that's going to do it for the Steam News segment. Coming up next, in NVIDIA makes a makes a very reluctant move. And Intel Intel's smoking some weird PCP, man. They've they've just have some new stuff coming out of left field. The news. Yes, it's it's that time um, before we get to the actual meat of the newsy bits Who we gets need to be to, the potato yeah we, I, I, I am potato we need to roll Hear them potatoes roar. out and uh well effectively peel our skin so that you can give us money yes if you want to see me pull a potato domo <laughs> and dive into a pot of soup head on over to patreon.com slash linux gamecast where you get some actual cool stuff like uh, getting into our Discord channel, which we're the, at the other six days of the week. You can also get into our Discord by subbing to us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Linux Gamecast. Speaking of, we got thank something up for you right now. Yeah, we got we got to thank uh, Gameotron and Nubbin for uh, subbing to us on Twitch. Bunch of cool people there. But yeah, Ben, you have a, you have a thing you posted on on the Patreon as well. We got a new thing up uh, interfacing Linux at PreSonus uh, Studio 24C. My thoughts, opinions. I always like to throw it up a couple days early. Take a look at it. Make sure I didn't make any uh, like really bad grammatical errors this one's a long one it's like 20 minutes long but i had to test it with two digital audio workstations just to, for completeness and uh yeah and before i posted that you know things like hey do you get any questions about these things before we go ahead and make the video that's there yeah. the, the, there was one that uh, i think uh, uh when when you did the uh it was one, one of the videos you did where like ne uh, it was the firewall one where nemo had a really good question that you didn't cover in the uh in the in the video and you're like oh yeah i gotta add a, like a little coloring yeah. to the uh to the written thing because like yeah you wouldn't know unless like you knew specifically to ask, oh, so. it, yeah you, this is like the most difficult thing to do and this do, it doesn't just necessarily apply to like content creation but any type of like tech technical documentation that you're writing to get out of your own head space yeah. because people are not you, coming at it else. with the like knowledge that you have and like questions that you would assume to you just be obvious or yeah, because it, it always makes perfect sense in your head until you actually like try to express it. To Things else. you would never think about. Yeah. Yeah. So we always appreciate that feedback. Plus, you get the live and uncut version of this nightmare train that runs for about four hours every Saturday night in a handy, convenient podcast form along with the video. Same thing for Link's Weekly Daily Wednesdays. Come hang out with us. That gets you access to our Discord, which gets you in for our game streams on yep. uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Yes. Thursday is going to be interesting. I'm going to attempt time travel portal with empty and we're just going to be on a lot of drugs in the process. So go, go watch us get very, very frustrated at each, at each other. Yeah. So much aspirin, some Tylenol, just chug every, every time we fail to solve the puzzle, you just down a bottle. And I, I and, don't uh, want anyone showing up for, for the wrong reasons. Don't show up just because you want to see two stoners get angry at each other. <laughs> 
Do it because you want to egg us on. That's yes. why you got to show up. Encourage it. <laughs> and Be yeah, the uh, enabler. Ben, <laughs> right. Yeah, and uh, Ben, you're doing Trackmania still on uh, Tuesdays and Fridays? You change Tuesdays and Fridays, ladies and gentlemen. If you're looking for something, if you're looking for a group of people to get together with, oh, man, uh, we finished in... Uh, second third and fifth in the new track mania on fridays we played track mania 2020 we did the cup of the evening team lgc we got our own little club we were representing up there in the top 10 spots nice. uh, myself ogie and uh turbo we did pretty good no one expects it it's a lot of like oh hey let's get knocked out of the first round but more often than not we're in the top 10 being stressed out for no reason uh, <laughs> it, 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 it's that like oh you've been casually playing for too long but now you're like good so yeah. now it's one of those, like, this is a competition now. Oh, no. And I just got me on Max playing him in the back of my head. I'm like, nah, nah. And I'm like ah, good times. Had by all. Hey, we got Amazon wish list. If you want to pick stuff up for us, you can do that. And you know why? That'd be just because you're an awesome human being. But you get to send in a note to the show. Everybody's got one. Uh, Pedro's got one filled with files. Everything you need for home entry, including getaway sneakers. It's been a while yeah. since I've seen the <laughs> for getaway sneaking. sneakers. Yeah. <laughs> Maximum sneaking. That's pretty cool. Jordan is in desperate need of. Uh, did you add that to your wish list yet? I, I did. Yeah. There it is. One of these. I like also, this. Yeah. I also see, want that drive bay, man. Like, I really want Jordan to get somebody to get this microphone because Jordan doesn't have to lean into the microphone anymore. Because look at the boy. Look at the boy. He's, he's good. At, he's, good oh. he's good to turn into like a little dinosaur <laughs> with hunchback. He's like, nah. I want one of those too, by the way. There's one for the studio. Uh, I want it for completely <laughs> different reasons. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff for the studio up to and including um, LED lights because I need more of those because, man, I love my fucking RGBs, baby. And uh, video cards, all the stuff like that. I do appreciate we, we got it. A, we got a store as well. We forgot to mention store.linuxgamecast.com. It is right all, there. Yes, where you can Ooh. buy your tote bags, hoodies, <laughs> coffee cups, all that LGC merch you can use to represent LGC. If you want to put my face in your cleavage, you can. If you want to put Frank's face in your cleavage, you also can. If you want to put Pedro's face there, too bad. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> I, we could do a Pedro sticker, like a Pedro DLC. Yes. Oh, oh, hang on. D- no, it would be DLP, downloadable Pedro. Uh, no, uh, maybe I can make like a. Uh, I gotta check because there's a billion things on um Spring. Maybe there's a patch, so we could. Yeah. Like, it could be a physical patch that you pa- could uh, Pedro iron patch. on. Yeah, pa- pa- patch throw. <laughs> can 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 we get him? Can we get him with like the O face? The no, no, no. We get like Hanson t-shirts and we put the Pedro patch over one of them. Uh, oh, no, no, we need to we need to do like Nirvana t-shirts, but it's just all Pedro <laughs> instead of <laughs> Ah, do the um the one that empty did with the Dr. The beautiful people. Yeah. <laughs> or, the no, beautiful the, people album cover, but it's oh, my no, face. No, 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 no. Uh ro- the, the Rocky Horror one. The Rocky Horror LGC crew. Yeah, that one. Or that. Yeah. yeah. yeah I got that, on a shirt. that thing still lives. I think that's like uh my personal um Patreon uh I got login avatar that. still. So, yeah. yeah, good job yeah. on that one, Empty. Thanks for your support. We got a bunch of cool stuff lined up, always playing around, letting us do what we do. Uh, watch us live, 8.30, here on Twitch. Share the show. Tell people about it if you want. You can be our marketing department because we all know we need one at some point. And, uh, again, what I talked about earlier in the show, if you know anybody doing game dev and like that, might want to pop on the show, we'd love to talk if, to If them. you are a game dev, yes. you want to get on the show, hit us up. There you go. Now, on to the news and I, I switched over to this and I thought this was going to be like I, I thought that was like super bright green card it's my green brain screen. wanted to believe <laughs> NVIDIA ladies and gentlemen 4000 series super that's right oh NVIDIA we're doing this again um, it's VRAM heaven NVIDIA is worried by Intel Battle Mage not really AMD competition a recent 4000 super specs leak lots of VRAM so we, we were having this discussion during the in between time, during the sessions before, uh, got got to got to plug our Patreon. You got to watch the whole uncut version if you want to get all the. There data. we go. Endless shilling, people. You thought you skipped <laughs> yeah. past it. Too bad. Oh no! Patreon.com no forward slash Linux Gamecast. Uh, so <laughs> we're looking at the specs now. I need to do a B comparison with mm-hmm. the actual um, cards, but what we're going to be looking at is you can get a four gigabyte booster pack for your 4,000 series cards for an extra hundred dollars, which is like extra laughable when you think about <laughs> to be fair, like the, the 4060 TI has 4,300 CUDA cores. So going to 5120 is a bit of a bump. 
And well, it's also the 4060 Ti, so you have the 8 gig version and the 16 gig version. So with that one, they just said, no, nah, you got 12 gigs in the middle. Yeah. So that. <laughs> but here, and then, what about like, this though? Where, where are we still only doing 24 gigabytes on the 4090? I want that. That should be higher <laughs> for two thousand dollars. I'm just who, saying. Well, yeah. Who who is buying the 4090 at this point, right? Like, right? you you, you got to like have that be the regular 4090 price if someone's going to even consider that. Like, yeah, Nvidia is really being drag kicking and screaming into offering like consumer shit with more than eight gigabytes. And like, I look, I was looking at the the 4070 previously for like a card I was going to buy. And like, okay, well, you know, they're they're doing they're doing the super dupers now. What 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 does that what does that look like? Eh, it's an extra hundred bucks for like a sixteen gig forty seventy. Like, I don't know if that's gonna translate to like actual performance. But Jordan it, Swang, it, it, Jordan <laughs> Quang, and Jordan Swang, don't you know? GDDR six is super exp- but no, it's not. It, uh, <laughs> it, they, they, uh, GDDR six has hit a all time low now available at twenty five dollars per eight gig. NVIDIA is just doing the Lenovo strategy of like, oh, you want more memory? Fuck you. Well, AMD is too. I mean, yeah, AMD's giving you a slight, AMD's giving you a reach around, but you're still getting fucked, homie. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, AMD is at least like coming out with like some reasonable looking stuff, but like perfor- performance wise, it's not stacking Except up. Except for uh, the low with, end, like, the low end yeah. cards like the 6400, the 6500. That was shit, AMD. That was mm-hmm. genuinely shit. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, they, they, they were they were coming out swinging with like that twenty four gig seventy nine hundred XTX, and mm-hmm. then we were like, oh man, does that mean we're gonna get like eighteen sixteen gig like consumer grade like mid range? No, nope. nope. <laughs> not even gonna release it. <laughs> yeah, so, fuck you. You know, your initial thought is like you think about this, and you know, at twenty five gigs, uh, twenty five dollars for eight gig, that's the spot price, which you know that's um. AMD and NVIDIA, they don't buy the memory directly. They get it from Samsung or whoever, and you know, they do the QA on the memory and all that. So the price is going to go up, say, like $40 for any gig module. It's not a hundred. I'm just going to say that. They've been kind of stingy. And again, and again, neither AMD or NVIDIA are hungry. They, they've got their little niches car- carved out in the market. They're just like, yeah, we're cool. We, we're just going to roll like this. NVIDIA is just going to do fuck you because that why. And AMD is going to like slightly less fuck you because that's mm-hmm. why. I'm like, hey, th- this is working well, we'll for us. We'll charge you 50 bucks less. So what they're not. It. Neither of these companies are hungry. They're not trying to buy into the market. They're not willing to give you a shit damn near it cost to get some market share. Unlike Team Blue. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Showing this, us. This, this came out of nowhere. Dude. Like, um, Arc Pro A60 graphic card, ACMG 12 GPUs, 12 gigs of VRAM, 130 watts, $130. Ooh, now you're that's nice. That's pretty good. That, that's kind of crazy. Now, <laughs> is this a gaming card? No, no, it's not. But if you do need something that can play some video games, maybe for your home theater PC, and it also has AV1 encoding support, 256 execution units, 16 Z cores. So this puts it right between an Arc 3 and Arc 5 series. Mm-hmm. Coming out at the end of Q2, which is right around June 30th. Uh, you got my attention. Yeah, like if 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 you're doing any like film or stream production, like yeah, this is this is like almost an insta buy. Yep. <laughs> it is very it's a single slot card and the uh, they have the the pictures of the pro there. You get four um display ports on the front which is pretty good so yeah it's it that's a very good price proposition for you 12, know 12 gigs of ram for like yeah for a vram for like on, on 130 dollar yeah. <laughs> like part that's in that's, in, in nvidia what the fuck <laughs> and the fact that it's single slot you still get like two possibly three centimeters uh, of space in between your other chunk of a GPU that can't do AV1. So yeah, that, that's like a perfect add-on. I guess we should point out that like the 12 gig version is going to be like 175. Yes. Still, so, that's, yeah, yeah. That, that's still like, <laughs> con- considering what like both AMD and NVIDIA are charging for. Like, yeah. Considering you can't get anything. Well, again, like this requires no price? more mental gymnastics than rolling back to the arc a seven seventy with 16 gigs at $350. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we were talking earlier, like, I am still kind of looking around to get maybe an A770 at some point. 
or maybe this, because there's a, Jordan's got a list and I got a list of questions that tech reviewers, they, they're just not going to answer because I, I, they don't know how, or they don't even know the right questions to ask mm -hmm. for people who are in Linux content creation or certain gaming scenarios and streaming, you know, like yeah, these are absolutely. unknowns right now. So and maybe like, we pick up one of these. Yeah. And like, uh, again, ha having just like a dedicated encoder means that you can like have more GPU dedicated to like playing, playing your games and shit. Yeah. It's good yeah. all around. Yeah. That'd be an interesting use case. And also using these as workstation cards as uh, mm -hmm. flying spaghetti monster intended. Somebody hit me up on Twitter and they're like, ah, that's not a great value. And I'm like, at 175 bucks, this is a workstation card. You buy three of them. Mm -hmm. You got, <laughs> the and you system. got more VRAM you know what to do with, right? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that's what, and they do make a point to say that all of these are, um, cert, they get the, uh, what is it, the VI certification? I think it's called. Uh, for a bunch of applications that, you know, industry standard and all this other fun oh, stuff. Uh, ISV. The, the, the ISV, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like Autodesk and, you know, Solid Edge and Maya. Things like that, solid works. Yeah, it, it, it's it's going to work with all of like the the media creation software that like you're already probably using anyways. So it's mm -hmm. not going to require any. You 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 might need to install like the NVIDIA driver for or the Intel driver for it, but like beyond that, like the bl so Blender or whatever has hooks for it. Basically, what we want to do is find out you know with that information uh, taken, find out how well it runs Red Dead Redemption Two under Proton. Yeah. Yes. Pretty much. <laughs> Hashtag What's the Vulcan secrets. performance like? <laughs> hey, NVIDIA, I saw you liked my tweets. Send me one to play with, damn it. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> Facts in June. Last week, we talked about um, x86 or em emulation with RISC 5. Yes, and this is x86 emulation with ARM. The Facts people, they have a new release out. This is 2306. Uh, it is the release for the month of June. And there's some uh, there's some interesting stuff in the blog post. Uh, mostly about uh, TSO emulation and how they're going to be handling it in the future. Uh, the M1 has like a native TSO uh, implementation on die, um, but and that saves like a huge amount of um, it's it saves a huge amount of performance because under uh, system under non Apple systems that don't have this instruction in place, you have to emulate it all via the ARM instruction sets uh, using using like all the system oh, eat that the is glorious bag of dicks, Mantis Lords. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, yeah, uh, bear, bearing the lead. By the way, this shit can run Hollow Knight at like full speed now. Mm -hmm. Like that's mm -hmm. just that's just dope as hell. What the fuck? On a third on, on, gen on an Snapdragon, arm, yeah. On an arm <laughs> on an ARM CPU, and like look at that. That's like there's no slowdown. That's snappy as hell. Um, that 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 is just impressive as hell. Uh, they also have support for a new Arch Linux based RootFS, and uh, a Fedora based one is coming out soon. So that is going to be pretty cool. This is how yeah, you sell. They, this is selling them product right here you're speaking my language with the hollow knight <laughs> they do warn that the uh one of the things that they did which was implementing support for deferring as asynchronous signals that may cause some issues uh specifically the queue the way that everything is queued all the jobs are queued that may result in some of the well the results not being exactly as expected so they're mo they're they know about it. They're actively monitoring for games that may have an issue, and that's as good as an excuse as I can think for you to just grab your ARM device of choice, Raspberry Pi, your Pine Book, play games on it. Seriously, load up Facts and play games on it. Let them know. Let them know. I mean, they're doing um, RootFS Arch Linux support. They have a lot of work with AVX Steam Web Web Helper crash fix, which is difficult to say for some reason. That's kind of funny. One of the things that caught my attention, though, was the TSO memory emulation. Because apparently they're like, hey, with the Akashi, Asashi, Asashi, the M1 processors have that built into the hardware, which I, I thought was kind of interesting. Um, TSO emulation is just built in. I'm like, that's an interesting idea. Do you think that's going to be in our ARM gaming PC desktop future? We're going to see x86 emulation support in different ways, including TSO built into the silicon itself, or is that just like too far out? And I'm thinking I, with like Jim Keller at uh TensorTor and his little startup that's working on Risk Five, like that's that's right up his alley to make sure stuff like that works. Yeah, and like uh running X eighty six apps is like a big concern of like shit in the ARM space. So uh yeah uh, having, having, having solutions to like bypass, having to do like x86 instruction emulation 
that just like completely butt fucks your performance is going to be very very crucial here especially like if you're a, if you're an amazon or a, or an apple or something like that who needs to like run software at scale um yeah it's like as 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 we move for, further in like this arm future yeah we're going to start seeing a lot more more of this this kind of stuff and it is it is very exciting no man i you you're never going to take away my x86 you can pry my <laughs> x86 64 cpu from my cold dead hands i don't know man um that's it's where this is coming there's also fixes for gta 5 because of course yes. there is well, I, I mean, at, at this point, like, is GTA Five the new Doom? Is like the benchmark now not can it run Doom? It's can it run GTA Five? You know what? It makes as much sense as like dragging out the corpse of The Witcher Three and like, look how well this runs this eight year old game. Mm. <laughs> well, the, the, they did release the new uh, Witcher Three update that introduces RTX and in a couple. Yeah, of I played with that for thirty <laughs> minutes, and I was. I was <laughs> I, I spun around a few times. I took I took the traditional like camera in front of me screenshot, and I'm like, well, yeah. I mean, it runs at 2160p with DLSS. Neat. Yeah. Wine dependency has been solved finally in oh, hell. Nice. Yes, it's 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 so very much in hell. Uh, Bethesda is going to have something to say about that logo. The <laughs> no, they're wine not. dependency Those are hell cathedrals solver. behind it. This is blood blood wine souls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that that's the doom font and <laughs> yeah no the uh the project comes from um fender was taken on github and it basically what it's trying to do is provide a collection of scripts to set up a wine prefix uh with everything that you may need to run a game pre-installed or you install the things that you need like DirectX, um, ASP.NET Core. I don't think a lot of games use .NET Core. Regular .NET, absolutely, but not that one. Media Foundation, Physics, is that still a thing? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> and uh, Visual C++. I, it's been a while since I've uh, heard about uh, Physics, but the thing that caught my eye on the uh, uh, readme is the disclaimer. Though my script installs Media Foundation dependencies, you may still exhibit unwanted behavior. How about you let me figure out which of my exhibitions is unwanted? Hmm? You know what? Yeah. I would have just finished that with, you're fucking around with wine and gaming, so you knew that anyway. <laughs> yeah. This, and like, the, so Strider, Strider was, uh, Strider and I were chatting about this in Discord earlier. It's not like, um, it's not so much a dependency hell solver, it's more just like, prime your wine prefix with all like the common library shit that you might need anyways, which like, you know, could be a useful, uh, useful, like default feature to just have like, Hey, I'm going to stamp out a new pref wine prefix. I know we need to have like these things, uh, these things installed. And like, beca because of like the district, the legalities of the distribution that right with like MF plat and dot, yeah. mm -hmm. you can't, you can't necessarily ship it on with the, with the binary. You gotta like pull, pull it in after the fact. So I, I, I see, I see what they're trying to do here. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't necessarily know if this will like solve all your problems, but it def I, I guess the idea is like, it'll save you that step of having to like bust open wine tricks and like install the specific packages you need. But that's Sometimes. the thing <laughs> with wine, usually less is more. I've seen many games that at least start, but they might have issues like certain elements of the UI don't appear. So you think, okay, maybe it's missing some C++, uh, yeah. version that it doesn't have you install it and all of a sudden the game doesn't even start anymore i i mean i mean to, this I mean, will to introduce point. more problems than it fixes if you just start applying it willy-nilly so mm -hmm. to that to that <laughs> point it seems like acceptable best practice for wine for a lot for like as, at least as long as i've been using it is like basically have a separate prefix for app per app because like yes because one dependency that re is required for one game or one bit of software to run will effectively break the other mm. one. And if there's only some way we could containerize those. Call them bottles. Pressure vessel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, it's a neat project. Maybe it works for you. Maybe it doesn't. Something to try out. Worst case scenario, you might learn something. Now, anybody here ever used OBS? No. No? I, I only use XSplit. What's XSplit? an OBS? <laughs> OBS. No, no, no. You use slobs, right? Yes, I... 
Wait, what, 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 what was the uh, what was that one Forka OBS? Was it Slobs yeah. or like, Streamlabs yeah. OBS? Yeah. Streamlabs like, OBS. Yeah. yeah, they were like, look at us, we're OBS now, and OBS is like, you want to tell the girl lawyers? <laughs> Which they can be like, here's some money. <laughs> so, one of the problems you might have encountered is dealing with X window composite capture. You know, say you got Firefox, say you got Krita. Say you got a game launcher that you're in that window title changes an OBS fox right off, pops a glue stick in its mouth and just goes to town. And it's like, I can't figure this out. This is, and this has always bugged me. This has been a problem since forever. This is not a new thing. This is X windows. And I do this each and every week. One window, I constantly, either I have to have it on a blank tab, which I never remember to do. I always close a blank tab or immediately set up the show notes. If it doesn't say the exact same thing, I just get blank, so I have to go into my X composite on my sources, do exactly. the drop down, find it from the like mile long list of all the stuff I have open, and select it. There's a way around that. Turns out, and I, I was kind of happy to see it. Um, turns out, it's not very hard to get fixed if your name is Bog. <laughs> <laughs> Because I tried to parse this the best I could. Um, you know, the window titles, basically the Windows IDs, IDs, they get changed after a restart. That, that, this is how it works. It finally pissed off the right person, the aforementioned bug. And I don't understand everything that's going on here. I'm not going to pretend I do. But this will keep your window name and say you want Firefox always to be Firefox. You always want Discord to be Slappy's Happy Doom Shack. You name it that, it's never going to change. Now, it does require a little bit of manual intervention. Yeah, you, need you get a set of things with the uh, yeah, LD preload with title to the actual application itself. The, uh, the guy does say that like sometimes this also will break stuff as well, so you may... Mm. Chromium you're, you're, you're being a notable very. offender. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, there it is. That's all you got to throw in. Try it out. There'll be a link in the show notes. And this goes through like thread safety, just a lot. Really, my own only complaint with this the spelling of though <laughs> that's it unfortunately well, I mean, that is accepted nowadays <laughs> well you know i'm gonna say if you're gonna do y though it has to be just the letter y like, why, why <laughs> though, right why, why, why though with no space just no yeah. no 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 jordan that is the formal though yeah the, well no, no punctuation either like why though yeah <laughs> But yeah, no, it is very useful for games and software that like to spawn their own window and random monitors. And then you say, want to use KWIN or WMCTRL or any of the others to tell it to stop. It always put it on the same monitor. With KWIN, you can go around it by just setting the rule to apply to all the windows which launch in that proc name. Mm -hmm. So with GIMP. Uh, you set it to, okay, if the proc name is GIMP, all of the windows respect these rules. And this is basically assigning um, this principle to something outside of KD only for X, unfortunately, because well, I mean, know. yeah, I mean, there's ways to like, kind of get like, you can use <laughs> X dude or X D. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. The, the the guy was saying like, yeah, we we could we can spam that, but like, yeah, you you usually want to avoid stuff like that. You do. Just, it's not pretty. That was like one of the solutions for like making the uh, stream deck that I have that I know I've mm -hmm. set up with the Raspberry Pi. But like the initial time I was trying that, that was one of the hacks. I'm like, that's not pretty. That that can yeah, cause more that, problems that, than it solves. So this is like a clean-ish way of accomplishing what, that. What, and what's, he, what's he, neat is he, he hacked it together in like two hours too. That was, oh yeah, that that's was what good. I'm saying. This is this is not a very complex problem if you're bought. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he was also using an automatic scene switcher as well. That's the one that'll like analyze like pixels mm -hmm. on a certain scene. Like when this shows up, go to this scene and like really fun stuff. And I'm glad everything's working. So yeah, go play with that too open sourcey games to talk about before we get out of here well one, one of them is kind of open source uh but this one this one, uh this that but this one definitely is this is empty clip you can find it on emptyclip.gitlab.io all the links to all this stuff is in our show notes it is an open source top-down shooter slash rpg done in sdl2 with c++ and uh the one 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 thing i noticed is like the, the the controls are a little strange they're like yeah move forward is e left is s down is D and right is F. And I'm like, why, why are you inventing the reinventing the WASD? 
Why? Why you do this? <laughs> because someone was a broken child that had a broken childhood with a broken keyboard. I guess. Yeah, yeah that's the but, thing. Is is the dev's keyboard broken? Do we need to buy the dev new keyboard? <laughs> yeah. Where, where's Where's the dude's wish list? I'm getting like some Hotline Miami meets like Doom vibes a little bit. From hotline the- survivors. Yeah, yeah the, it does get like towards the end of the trailer. It gets very vampire survivory with the amount of enemies on screen. But no, you remember when I said that I want to tell a glitch in first person? This is the the opposite of what I wanted. There you go. Oh. <laughs> That's the point right there. Those, those, those are some numbers. What are the minimum system requirements for this scene? I just want to know for the not Cortex enough. A6. <laughs> wow, too many monsters. Too many or not enough, depending on. But hey, yeah, no, it, it, I I'd love you know for this to be in first person. Let me see the jank uh, 3D models that you're working with, please. The SDF. <laughs> Why? Why? I don't I don't understand. I don't know. I mean, it's the thing. Uh, go check it out. The code's available on uh, on GitLab. So Did yeah, if you want to go play with it, and yeah, Vampire Hotline Miami Survivors. <laughs> Empty clip. Yes. Empty clip. <laughs> There you go. It's got bosses, progressions. There's tips. There's a glossary. All right, I'm sold. Yep. Now, Penetration yeah, the, damage. Sorry, yeah, no, the, my... the, the, they, like the 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 page gives you like a pretty detailed breakdown on like how to actually play the game. They're like, yeah, if you're running into this, like try using a shotgun or and blah hey, blah this, blah. Like, yeah, version two point is on. So yeah, added outfit swishing. Finally, Q by default. Added hardcore mode. More and more what? It, it gets five times the enemy. So now we're using scenic. <laughs> or you, if you die, you die. You got to start from the beginning. If, oh. if you die, it just sets your computer on fire. <laughs> I uh, mean, if you're alive for long enough with those many enemies, it'll probably set your computer on this fire. This is what I want in Dark Souls 4. It's <laughs> permadeath. <laughs> now. It breaks your PlayStation. Oh, no. There's no save. None at all. <laughs> you got you to play like a NES game. Oh, dude, the power goes out in the middle of a boss fight. You're just like, well, I guess I'm done playing this game. That's it. (laughs) I dare you from software. You're not brave enough to do that. Um, People of a certain age, and by that I mean older than me, might remember the first real-time 3D adventure shooter, The Colony, by David Smith. No? It was available for Mac, PC, and Amiga. Let's see if we can get some hot colony action up here on video. Ooh, My David. Escape. Oh man, it's on the Mac. It's a Mac. How can I oh, tell? Yeah. Because it's got a Mac thing in the left hand <laughs> corner. Mac logo. <laughs> so you know, Colony was one of the first games of its kind, man. I mean, it, mm-hmm. you could move around freely, and the graphics were rendered in real time, which is pretty dope. It was also, which get, I didn't uh... know. What I didn't know was it was one of the first 3D games to let players drive around in a vehicle. Socket Warthogs, Halo. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, we were talking, Jordan. Is there a way to build this damn thing in a modern system? Uh, there, there is not. I poked through the repository here. Uh, they have all the source and assets for the PC, Amiga, and Mac versions, but no make files. Uh, so if you want to get this built, you will have to read through the source code and figure out how to write your own. But like, this is still this is still pretty cool for like preservation's sake. Um, yeah, like. Uh, this 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 had like not quite 360 degree movement. I think you had like a 270 degree degree rotation. But like that's still pretty impressive considering this was all done on like fucking early Apple hardware. Um, well, I mean, and- even even it's GPL 2.0. Um, mm-hmm. there were two versions for Apple. There was a black and white version. Yes. But if you were balling, if, you, <laughs> if version, you had that money, yeah. There was a color version for DOS, and of course a color version for the Amiga. And yeah, I went through that. I was like, is there any way to build this in a modern system? Like, nope. And Pedro's, Pedro had something to say about like the b- bunch of uh, exposition dump about the backstory, yes, which is no, good that, to have. Which is a holy good wall have. of text, bad man. <laughs> I so read I, through so it. I tied an uh, onion on my belt. <laughs> the, there's some very interesting anecdotes. The one that kind of jumped out to me was the adventures of Sluggy, the ram eating gastropod. Uh, one of the enemies in the game is a slug, and part of the you know, the ability that the slug has is that it tracks the player and it keeps following the player. And that behavior required it to be able to destroy whatever it's running up to. So if it's running into another enemy, it'll destroy the enemy. That was intended. What wasn't intended was how, uh, yeah, uh, 
if they ran uh, if the slug ran into a wall there was a chance that it could destroy the wall and just start going through the ram content of the mac <laughs> that, that, <that's, laughs> and eventually it would cause overflow. the game to crash or other things to crash from a freaking so, enemy so, the game <laughs> so what i mean what i'm hearing is don't try and do your taxes on the same computer that you're playing this game on this is this is like this is the head scratcher like yeah the bug was a real bug you know it's like uh lights and video games use real <laughs> yeah. electricity right there, there, there's a we caught a, an enemy in the game that can go through the ram and just start eating things <laughs> her, 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 reminds me of like uh there there, there was a there in, in lancer they have a thing in the mythology where it's like oh yeah they they have this like super ai that managed to figure out that it was an ai in a computer and then mm-hmm. figured out how to escape oh. into the real world so it's like <laughs> which i the, think the, is a wonderful thing our future upcoming ai use this as exhibit a <laughs> yes indeed <laughs> Ro- hashtag yes, Rokos we totally Basilisk. respect the freedom of AI. Yes, if you if you don't contribute to the constructions of Roko's Basilisk, you will be tortured for eternity. Coming up next, the developers of Payday are going to get tortured for eternity. Yay! One step back, two steps forward. Let's climb the mountain. Let's dominate. Violence, speed, and momentum. And guess what? We're at the tippity top of the mountain, but we're really only halfway up. It's the hate mail. And someone's going to have something to say about that one. Uh, if you want to get in I touch, I, I don't know what to say about me that. either. I'm like, all right, whatever. <laughs> I, that, that that was a collection of words. Hey man, we get what we deserve, <laughs> yes. and what, yes, what it you was. deserve is the best. LinuxGameCast.com contact button. There's a form you gotta fill. Pedro GPT, man. <laughs> did, did an AI it's, shit it's me, that? Cyber Pedro. <laughs> This is the first version. The wetware is a bit shit, but I mean, hey, it's it's doing the thing though. So shut up, quit your complaining, Swag. Fair enough. I, right? If you're not watching we, the we video don't... version, you should be at least just for this one bit. It's only pissed itself twice. <laughs> now it's just screaming for it to kill, for us to kill it. Well, better, better oblige. As you were, Cyber Pedro. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, uh... LinuxGameCast.com, fill out the form on the contact page. The uh, caveats are at the top. You should absolutely read them. If you don't and your thing doesn't come through, that's on you. (laughs) All right, so we got one little bit of... um... I want to get I, I want to get a good like screenshot with a cyber page real quick. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, Louise is uh, Louise wrote in uh, because and we were talking the, a bit about this in the in between segment. But yeah, Payday Two is no longer Linuxing. Um, he quotes the thing: Linux players will be unable to match make with other PC clients due to this update. They are breaking Linux multiplayer. I want my forty dollars back back. And 40? yeah, Wait back back. Oh, is that all in DLC, or did you buy the game? Like I don't when it know. Released? Do, I'm scared I to Google. Uh, welcome to twenty. Where I'm scared to just Google forty on there. Four zero. Four, four zero. <laughs> well, right, right, right now, right now, you can pick it up on Steam for eleven ninety nine. But yeah, forty dollars sounds like what it would cost when it came out. Anyways, yeah. So uh, there, there's this new update coming out for Payday Two, and. It turns out what what had happened was they had produced a one-off build for Linux that was able to run all of their new content. But now the existing build cannot run some of the new content. So they're like, so they're pulling a Rocket League and they're like, hey, too bad, guys. No more Linux for you guys. Run it on Proton. And uh, okay, as as someone who does software build and release, stop doing one-off special snowflake builds. <laughs> no, they but never they, listen, worked out. They, dude, they... they... They came up to us and like, here's some money, make the thing. And I made the they thing They never for work out. Fix your fucking trunk. Get that working so that you can just shit out builds for everything. I, I don't want to shit out about builds, it. Jordan. I, I just wanted the money that they gave me to do that one build. So, yeah, no, no. Pe- people, people need to have their fucking software developer cards revoked or some shit, man. I, 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 sincerely, one, one very tired DevOps. Um, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, th- th- this, is, this is a consequence of like doing the one-time builds that like, oh yeah, it'll run all the new uh, content until it doesn't, and now you're shit out of luck. But you know, if you do want to keep playing Payday Two, you can. It does run on Proton. Apparently, you can't run it for more than a couple hours. A couple of hours. I did a little bit of research in this, a little bit of reading, a little bit of reporting. One man, yeah, you get about three hours there, and, and you gotta give it a restart. But then again, it's free on uh, Epic though. 
it is this week if you want to go ahead and grab it and you somehow don't have it. It's $9.99, which I think is what we bought it all those years ago when it, it was one of the earlier games available on Linux through Steam. But then again, this is also the same company. You can't even say the same company. It's like whoever owns this IP this <laughs> week, like it's been sold a couple of times over. They couldn't even keep their console builds up and running correctly. Mm. So, like, uh, dick move, Jordan's 100% right. Like, this is, you know, why you want that unified code base. You don't want something like how many times has, have we seen, how many times have we had this conversation? Like I, I do, I deal with this professionally and every time they're like, oh, we'll just have a special branch and we'll do it the one time. It never works. It's always like, oh, now we have to merge this stuff in and it's broken. Yeah. And we spent like now nine we have weeks. two branches to support. Yeah. yeah no, <laughs> fix, fix your fucking trunk. Ugh. No, well, man, we're just going to, well, <laughs> well, is Proton good or bad? I mean, Proton didn't have anything to do with this. This was no. shit development. Yeah. <laughs> As was the case for quite a few of the older uh, batch. Ro of Rocket League. Rocket League yeah. was the, was, is the, is the big uh, painful example we had of that, where they had the one build that Icky Butts did, ran and all the content. It wasn't or wasn't it? It wasn't Oculus? No, no. Oculus, I think, started initially, and there was some guy in Texas that did the okay, uh, okay. build. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm I'm misremembering that, but um, <laughs> but yeah, they, they they but my point still stands, right? Like they they produced the one build, mm -hmm. it ran all their new co all their content up until it didn't, and then they're like, "What are we gonna do? We can't support this other build. If only we could like easily produce binaries for multiple operating systems with our cross-platform engine, but that would be too much work." Eh, they were using Unreal Engine three, which wasn't exactly. Yeah, cross no, yeah, but the, and, and, the and they moved to Unreal Engine Four, which <laughs> yes, <laughs> you, like you 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 can do it. We have seen good performing UE four games on Linux. It's possible. Yeah, but I yeah, mean but, the Rocket League was just like hyper yeah. egregious example of like well, well Epic yeah. can just go play in traffic as a company. Um, while they're looking out for you, the gamer. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, it's totally about the gamers and not at all about the developers and lining their own pockets. It's just being dicks, man. Like, let's <laughs> we gotta force everybody into the Windows ecosystem under our store. Which, can you oh, yeah, but we we well, should uh, we you should, should be able you know, to fight. We should, our, we're the no, underdogs, no, no, no. we should fight the power. Uh, you're fucking you, using Windows, you should be able to sideload your app on, on any operating system, but not <laughs> Linux. Because fuck you, that's why. Mm -hmm. We should be able custom to Custom kernels. Mac. No, no, Jordan, it's the custom yeah. kernels. GAC, right. listen, yeah. we've <laughs> invented that yeah. security theater, therefore we get to make the rules. Wow. Yes. Uh, I need to go live in the woods. I, I, I give it. <laughs> anyway, Payday 2 is uh, no longer going to work. Uh, if you don't play it, somehow I looked at my time. I somehow have uh, like 10 hours in the game just like dicking around. I, even though they've probably already factored this in, request a refund. Yeah, hold on. How many? How probably not going to get it, but you should request it you anyway. You should request it. Yeah, I got six, six point eight message. hours in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah like I mean, it's not a time thing. They're like they're breaking the ability because like paid async. It's a multiplayer game. Like they're breaking yeah. online connectivity for a game that is designed to be played online, and uh, you're getting fucked as the consumer. So let Valve know. Valve's not going to cut the check. They're going to like hey. message. <laughs> on that happy bombshell. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to roll right the fuck out of here. You can get in touch with me on Twitter. I'm still hanging out there at Vinstone. Do that thing. Punch those in. Over on Mastodon, we got our little federated instance. We'd like to see you there as well. Mast.LinuxGameCast.com. I'm just at Vin. I'm Vinstone on Discord now because I too got that pop up yesterday and changed my name to Vinstone because I'm dudes. terribly original. How about you, Jordan? Well, I'm here dangling from that long abandoned feature branch. You can follow me on, on Twitter at the Burning Fool, on Mastodon at Mast at Frojo at Mast.LinuxGameCast.com and twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. And I am not Dr. Disrespect. No uh, one's as you probably what? suspected. No. Me. Fool. I named you my power of attorney. I am Dr. This Respect. So uh, I suppose you can follow me on Twitter at unaccounted for that. That's I told I... you putting Plage Morozo through school is going to pay off dividends. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor piss respect. <laughs> this respect. This respect. This being the microphone he's pointing at. Pit, yeah. <clears throat> piss respect. Pit, yeah. Piss. Here's some credits. Yeah.
Zath Zathras is looking good in his new animated form, man. I'm glad. I like how he's just the, like, yeah, let's let's show I'm the new I'm going to be thing. real. That's my only complaint. He didn't look gnarly enough for me. No, he's not, 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 not grody enough. A little too smooth. Needs, needs, needs more shit on him. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got to thank our advisors, Omegas, Artheron, and we got to thank our executive producers coming out from the depths. They are Bob Bram, Scott Michaud, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Drummer, Kohaku Pebble, Tomash, Hakim, Dave, and Ishep. And Chicago other kicks ass with the stoats, the imps, the glorious eggs, and the blasphemous. Sea Monsters, Renault, Rider X, Machina, Trudgy, Ferret, to do the Justin Nubbin, Darkwing, System T, Danzing Joe, Ogi One, and Kyrillo. Ah, Death words. Notes, Nova. Death Notes. Awesome. Yeah. Chad Roger. B, Romeo, Boxing. Renee, Piper. Leonardo, DeCresti, Kip, Hoop. Chris, Stephen Jill, Benjamin, what about Dude, Turnover? Lad, Stephen B. What Nerdy about Dean, Stinky Beck, Dove? Game of Tron, Dodger, Zethrus Gaming, <laughs> Roo, Oh, Turnover, oh shit, Ro hit Snipe Steve two weeks Jello, in a row. Piper, oh, and oh. Aromatic Tav. <laughs> That was Steve's thing. Bro, it took it back. I love it. <laughs> it's, it's a power struggle. <laughs> all of our cheerlings, all of our fight upstanding animals. Uh, ah, there's a Mr. Beast Wake there in Mike there somewhere. Earth theorem that <laughs> yep. all the Asnocalus, John, E. Shep, Gabatron, Unoid, DSN Joe, Aromatic Devev, and Kajori, which should be on there. Why didn't that say? Anyway, I'll get you uh, next week. I thought it was higher up. I was looking for it there. I don't, I don't, know. Th- I don't know. Maybe it is. Uh, we'll find out. I'm too high. Roll back oh, no. the tape. All right, everyone. See you next week. Down to five. Five dudes.